my name is Gail Henderson and I'm an artist. Um, my main practice is drawing, but this is my research methodology is um, surreal autobi autobiographical poetry. So I use that to um, underpin yeah. my um, drawing. And sometimes when I'm doing a big drawing, um, my drawing looks like scribing. So it looks a bit, it's like letters coming through. So there is a link between the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I've seen your work and it look, it's beautiful. I love everything that you're posting at the moment. All your um, drawings are really fantastic, really fantastic. Oh, thanks. I can't I'm, working on a small, I'm working on a small scale in lockdown. But yeah, the, yeah. the images end up being quite good because I've got an A3 scanner. So oh, I'm, nice. I'm working at A3, then I scan them in. Oh, that's um, fantastic. I can't wait to see them in the flesh, you know, like properly. Um, so when and how did you first get involved <clears throat> in the creative arts? Um, well, I've drawn ever since I was um, a small child. So I've always, I've always done it. Um, I started pursuing it seriously. Well, quite seriously when I did a foundation course at um, Hartlepool site. Cleveland College of Art and Design yeah. but I did painting but then I drew with paint so I actually did like a painting degree um, but my work is quite painterly in some aspects and a bit and a bit like sometimes it can be said to be look a bit like textiles so yeah. what I did then is I like stayed with me. Yeah yeah I agree actually yeah it does look like um, you know if you're looking at it from a distance it looks like it's been stitched yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and that, yeah, that's fantastic. Um, what inspired you to get involved? <clears throat> um, I love drawing. Uh, um, I've always wanted to draw, and um, I failed my A level A levels because I was like really poorly. Um, so I, I felt like I really wanted to succeed at something, like anything. Yeah. So I went for um, I went and did a foundation course, and I worked really hard. But then um, it. It's, it's ended up suiting me and um, although I don't feel that like I fit in that well um, with like the arts but I don't think anyone does like with fine art <laughs> every, because no one no one feels that they do and I just feel it just feels right yeah yeah uh, yeah I think <clears throat> that not fitting in I think I think a lot of people who feel like they don't fit in are drawn to the creative arts for that reason and then um, you find, then you find a sense of belonging I think don't you um no I feel I feel like um I feel like ill ill fitting with like fine art um with the art world right okay do you think that's because it's still very patriarchal um <clears throat> controversial I think statement I think it's because it's patriarchal and then there's like a lot of um, over intellectualized theories flying around that aren't very good that people use to get funding and make, so they slot into that world and yeah. um, they use, they use um, like a whole sentence to get to the point of the meaning of what they're trying to say. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of people hiding behind big words with a practice with no substance. Yeah, yeah. Well, I love your work and I know everybody I know so many people who love it when they see you putting it up on um, on your Facebook posts. It's just amazing. Really speaks to me as a woman. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is. It is. It is very womanly. It started <laughs> off as um, um, me wanting to um, express like um, myself like as a woman. Yeah. And um, I watched a documentary about um, Mayor Magookian recently, and um, she was saying the same thing about her poetry that she wanted to express herself as a woman. Yeah. Um, and um, I use Alice quite a bit in yeah. my work, um, though I do give the character like different names. So sometimes it's Alice, sometimes it's Penumbra. Um, I have like shifts in identity. Um, and she, she uses Alice as well. And we've both had like mental health issues. So I think that's quite interesting. Yeah, I do. Um, I so do. I am I'm drawn to her, like the dense, <clears throat> um, complexity of her poetry and it really yeah. speaks to me so yeah. it was a good documentary on um, BBC iPlayer so who was that I'm going to write that down um Mae Magookian Mae Magookian I'm going to look her up yeah her up. so there's a documentary on, B on the BBC it was on, it was on BBC iPlayer portrait of a poet or something I'll check it out I'll check it out that sounds really interesting um who uh, what are your major um influences or who or what are your major influences and inspirations, girl? Um, well, although um, 
um, when I was a child, I was told that I was no good at music. I find that um, music um, inspires me quite a lot. And um, one of the main things that inspired my work was actually PJ Harvey, like that writing with percussion. Yeah. And then um, I, I used to like um, sort of um, 90s, like female rock bands. And um, they seem to like be having as many problems as me. So I sort of, in my drawing, I sort of came out in sympathy a bit. Oh, um, solidarity, that's so great. I had my headphones on, you know, and I'd go and I'd do like a massive drawing. Yeah. Um, because it was supposed to be, I, I said that Eri Gray inspired my practice, but um, I think that I was only drawn to that writing because I wasn't feeling too well and it didn't help me. Um, and now, like, um, um, I, I read it and um, I, I think she tried, it's like one size fits all, you know, one theory to fit the whole world. I, I, don't, I don't agree with it. Oh, I so um, I've dislodged my practice from Equiture Feminine. And um, I've gone with um, more Margaret Atwood and um, Marina Warner. Um, I, I really like her writing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And looking more at um, people um, like Artaud, um, Artaud French. He did like self portraits. Yeah. Um, yeah. Theatre of Cruelty. So I find him um, inspiring. Um, and um, I, I really like um, sort of like spiritual. Um, uh, at the moment, I'm just looking at my um, bookshelf to yeah. remember the names. Um, <sighs> Hilma Alf Klint. Um, right. She's got okay. a documentary out at the moment. Yeah. And she, um, her work's quite spiritual and she uses a lot of cells. I mean, she's, she's supposed to have um, come out with um, abstract art before Kandinsky. And there's a bit of um, a confusion whether he actually saw images of her work before he invented abstraction. Really, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that's and um, in her will, she said that no one could um, buy, that her work was to stay, like, not for sale, just like right. as a collection. Yeah. So she, it hasn't been in the art world that much because she, like, disrupted art history a bit. And um, she uses, like, cells for, like, um, as a sort of spiritual meaning. Yeah. And I've used, like, my, I use, like, a lot of cell forms. <clears throat> um, yeah. So I'm finding her work really interesting and um, um she had like a show in um in stockholm last year which i wish that i'd seen but um obviously there's like problems with like travel and everything yeah but, um, i find i watched um there's a documentary on um from the drawing room which i watched last week that um that i found really fascinating yeah that's that that's so interesting isn't it about um the, uh, the women artists who've been like overlooked and um, in favour of, uh, yeah, so so unfair. Hopefully that'll all be rectified in the future at some point, you know. Um, but I, do, I do like Jackson Pollock. I like his psychoanalytical drawings and the black, yeah. the black paintings that are where he draws with paint. Yeah. Um, um, I, I, I do, I do like him. And it's quite uh, hard to think of who you like and what off the cuff. Yeah, I know it is. I know. And then, and then afterwards, you think, oh, I like what well, just them. And then, um, yeah, I know. We like. I think in different stages of our life as well, different artists influence us, don't they? You know, you can go yeah. through stages of um, yeah, and then somebody that you don't know about and get introduced to as well. Um, but also interesting that you know you were told that you weren't good at something at school and when you were yeah. That, that yeah, happens, well, that happens um, a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, probably maybe wasn't good at it, but maybe good at it in my own way. I know, but it's good in someone else's opinion that um, if you enjoy something, do you really have to be, if, if you enjoy something and it makes you happy, um, what's the, whose definition of good are you looking at? You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I was actually all right at music in the music um, class, but it's just yeah. that I never got into the choir when I was about five or something and put me off. Yeah, which is a shame, isn't it? But hey, yeah. look at you now, look at you now, girl. Look at yeah, you now. Yeah. <laughs> They're not at me, my other. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> just going on to your educa your education or um, how you learnt your craft. You said you've always drawn, and you've always been interested in it. Um, have you been? Um, oh, you mentioned you did an access course. That's right. Um, have you done um, a degree or um, um? How far have you gone with your education? Well, um, after because um, um, I I have um, 
issues around my mental health. I've never been well enough to work. So I've done um, degrees instead. Yeah. To, um, as, as, like, as, as a form of quite therapy, use education as a sort of therapy. Yeah. So I have like a number of um, degrees, including um, a one in um, creative writing from um, Teesside University. I have an earlier one um, in fine art from um, the University of Northumbria. Yeah. And that's an MA. And I did my degree at Wimbledon. But I also um, studied drawing research at, um, at the Centre of Drawing Research at the Royal College with, did you? De yeah. with Deanna Petherbridge, who I'm still in touch with now. Um, and I I'd say there, um, I went with like a lot of rough work. And I really learned how to get the best out of my craft there. Mm. You know, yeah. how to really use line in a sensitive way. Um, yeah. And how to like put, how to bring my drawings together yeah. um, using different materials rather than just using charcoal and always yeah. like using a, 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 a like a, a violent rough line. It yeah. has like more um, shades of meaning. And um, I, I think I, I learned, I definitely learned that there. They were very good at, um, on the how-to. Yeah. I actually seem to remember, um, I did a fine art degree at Teesside Uni, <clears throat> and I think, I'm sure it was you, it's your drawings I remember. I'm sure you were doing um, an, ac an access, access to access course or something like that. Um, it was um, like you, a sort of residency. Yeah, and you had a big, you had the whole um, wall of the second floor, um, and you did a, a huge drawing. On that yeah well I, i'm still work, trying to work that, in that, was that, that was you wasn't it yeah that was me yeah and i still have that drawing though it oh, needs dear. document documenting properly and um I, i've got like another drawing similar like on on the go in my studio but it's been interrupted by lockdown yeah so i was like papering my studio with drawings i've got one wall round but um it's um so that's it's, something to it's, get it's back on to. the floor yeah. i need to get back to it yeah. Um, because apparently, um, well, I am going to make a film of me performing the drawing and Lovely. a film about recovery. Um, so watch this space. Oh, I'm yeah. really looking forward to completing that. Are you, um, have you been able to visit your studio at all? Um, well, I have, I have visited it on occasion, but I'm looking forward to having my jab and um, getting back there. I know the rates are very high in Middlesbrough at the moment. And I'm a bit worried about using public transport to get there. Right. Okay. So um, once I've had my jab, um, I'll be straight there. Right. Oh, go. Oh, I can't wait to see. You. I can't wait to see your documentary. That would be fantastic. Um, do you do you work alone, Gail? Do you ever collaborate um, on with anyone? I know sometimes you do collaborations with the Tees Women Poets, of which you are one. Um, um I, I I don't really I, I don't really collaborate. Though I did do a workshop. Um, on the in the down, on the dining room table, um, for mind um, last week, where Lovely. I actually, which was it was it was really nice. Um, I had to think of something that um, where you didn't make much mess, where people would already have materials, yeah. um, where um, people didn't feel they had to be really good at drawing that everyone yeah. could do that would be fun. Yeah. So um, we uh, we looked out the window and um, I looked or looked in the mirror, put yeah. a piece of paper down and did like contour drawings where you look at you look at the paper um, and what you're drawing. No, you don't look at the paper. Yes. You look at what you're drawing. <laughs> yeah. And then don't look at the paper till the end. So you get like a surprise. Yeah. You know, you use like a, a single line. Yeah. And um, everyone gets like a touch of the Picassos. Yeah. So I love everyone, the, yeah. And, and then, it, then we did blind drawings. Uh, we did the same thing. Um, yeah. Looking at the, what we were looking out the window or looking at our reflection in the mirror, remembering what it was like and then drawing it with our eyes closed. Oh. And then something amazing. similar with two hands. Oh, so drawing, drawing with two hands together. Yeah. Oh, wow. That sounds really interesting. So, that sounds good. Did you enjoy it? I really enjoyed it. And I, yeah. I, I think I'm going to do like more. Yeah, um, that things like voluntary things like that for mind in the future. Yeah, and then I suppose because um, we, a lot of things are going online now, that's that's really accessible for you, isn't it? That's really something you could do in the future. Yeah, 
yeah so that's good oh well well done well done you that sounds really interesting i wish i'd done it <laughs> it was fun yeah sounds it i bet you got some very interesting drawings yeah well everyone else everyone did like really interesting things they thought they were quite cool and, yeah um, everyone was pleased with what they did so yeah. oh, that's nice. good that's really good that's really good um where can we find your work gail um outside in um, i've got a library on outside in they um um it, it's um an organization that deals with people that uh have problems accessing the mainstream art, art world the issues of like health um disability or circumstance so there's a lot of artists on there and i um if you if you type in my name yeah um my a, a lot of drawings come up and a statement and an interview fantastic it, that's 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 great have you um are you doing um i did think i saw somewhere that you were doing uh open mic somewhere so yeah five minutes on the um outside in event this friday what's it called a, outside in spoken word and poetry right great and that's this friday yeah just five just five minutes yeah um everyone's doing five minutes yeah. but um, i haven't actually stood up and performed a poem for like a poem for like a, quite a few years, and um, so it, it's I'm I'm um I'm gonna have a go. Oh, you'll be great. You'll be really good. I mean, five minutes, you know, a couple of poems, two or three, yeah. Four, I, I mean, four, your poetry's four, amazing. Four, 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 and some images of drawings. Yeah, that'll be lockdown and, uh, drawing. Your poetry's amazing. Anyway, I've always loved how um you've got some you can get some fantastic imagery and stuff in your poems. So it'll be fine. You'll be amazing. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm rehearsing this afternoon. I'm going to rehearse with them. Um, I'm going to um, do a rehearsal over Zoom with Sarah Crutwell. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'll be. And that'll then be um, I'm, I'm up with the <coughs> Mind um, Writing Group. I'm going to um, um, have a go at um, speaking my poems to them. Oh, on, okay. On um, Thursday. That'll be, that'll be good. You'll be fine. Good luck with that. But I know, you'd, I know you don't need it because you'll be amazing. Um, what do the creative arts mean to you? I mean, I think you've answered this question right throughout this um, interview, but why are the creative arts so important to you? And why do you think um, generally? Just for, for my well-being um, and for, um, it, it's helped me like get stuff off my chest. Yeah. Um, you know, really, um, um, it, I find it cathartic. Yeah. And then there's always, um, I don't know if you have had quite um, some quite um, emotional experiences. It's like a, a sort of process of like depersonalization. So, um, um, you know, it helps, it helps you um, communicate what you've been through to others. Yes. Um, and you don't feel so alone when you've done that. That's true. Yeah. In what you've been through. Yeah. But ma mainly for well-being. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which is really important to write at this very moment, especially, isn't it, that we um, look after our own well-being and yeah, and try and I think that was why it's been really quite important for me to do, like, start doing some workshops with Mind at the moment, you know, to try and give back, and um, yeah. that is something that I would, you know, like to open up my practice in the future, um, and hope that other people can um, get something out of the drawing yeah. process the way that I have yeah. in a therapeutic way. Well, it sounds like that workshop's really, um, that you really, really love doing it, to sound like yeah. that. So, yeah, I think you should definitely pursue that. Um, it's something for the future, isn't it, that you can yeah. that you can do. Yeah, and you can do it over, you can do it online if you want to. Yeah, though no, no. it's not as good as being as in person. No, it's not. It definitely isn't. But, um, and then if you, if, you ha if you actually have a workspace and you can do a workshop in there, then you can make more mess, which yes. is always better. So you have people come to your studio then? Is that would that be your um? Um, I, I don't know about that, but um, just um, doing workshops with people, like voluntary workshops with people in person, yes, is better than on Zoom. Yeah, I agree. Everything I think, is, isn't it? Everything's yeah. better in person. <laughs> yeah. We'll get it back. We'll we'll the days come in. The days come in. Um, well, thank you, Gail, um, very much for your interview. Um, or actually, generally, creative arts. I think you answered that really in the, all that question there, didn't you? Um, 
how important do you think the creative arts are to the general, you know, to the whole general population? Um, um, well, the, um, I mean, film, music, everything. It's, it's got everyone through lockdown, hasn't it? I yes. mean, what would we have done without it? Yes, it has. Imagine if there was nothing like that. And we and what would people what would people do? So um <laughs> doesn't bear thinking yeah, about, does it? Just, I think people expressing themselves and people's <laughs> um spiritual, emotional, psychological well being, you know, um are all um fed into by by certain arts. Yeah, I agree. Totally practicing agree. practicing um practicing it is um it's just such an amazing experience and it's mindful as well. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think you once sent me a tweet once about um, very early in the morning when I couldn't sleep and I was like, oh, and you said, Julie, breathe, you know, like meditate, do that. I remember that distinctly. Yeah, I do. I do meditate and um, it does. It does really help me. Um, I meditate for about, um, I don't know, about 20 minutes a day. Yeah. Um, and it if I'm ever stressed or I feel unwell, that's what I turn to. Yeah, 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 and that gets you through. Yeah. Well, it's just it's just calming everything as well, isn't it? If you just need to. Yeah, and it just helps you, like, um, I don't know, like, see, sit with whatever's going on, let it pass by, yeah. and it just helps you see more clearly and yeah. makes you feel more grounded. And if you've got, like, rushing thoughts, it, like, slows it down. Yeah, because, yeah, uh, yeah, I agree. Um, well, thank you very much, Gail, for um, letting me interview you. And um, I hope I hope the rest of lockdown is okay for you. Actually, I was going to have forgot to ask you that, didn't I? How has lockdown been? How has well, lockdown been? Have you been more creative, less creative? Um, um, I, th I think it's helped me focus. So focus. I've been, I've been creative in like a more focused way on a smaller scale right okay yeah so it's helped you with that yeah yeah and do you think um because i know the, the lockdowns have been very different haven't you we had the first one where it was really like like the world stopped kind of overnight um and but this one it seems i don't know this one seems longer i think maybe because it's colder yeah, I was able to draw outside during the first one, so yeah. that and, and go for like more walks. So it, yeah, it it was um easier to cope with. And I think when we did when, when, with the first one, we thought it would like stop, and that would be it. Yeah, but it's like gone on and on. I think people are like totally fed up with it now. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? It is hard. Yeah, definitely. But the the drawing is the drawing has like really helped me, like give me a focus. Yeah. Um, got you know give me something to do give me a routine yeah right so you create so your creative art art form has helped you get through this yeah definitely yeah that's fantastic that's fantastic right that is the end now <laughs> all right i keep okay. saying thank thank you gail and then i think oh no i'm gonna ask you something else right thank you gail very much for letting me interview you and um i hope the rest of lockdown is kind to you um enjoy friday night I'll try and tune in if I can. Um, enjoy it and I um, know you'll be amazing. And hopefully I'll see you very soon in the flesh. All right, see you soon. All right, bye. Yeah, bye.